everyone. It's Valerie. Welcome to today's One Card Wonder Wednesday for Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. Today we are going to make a card using the Jar of Love stamp set. Make sure I get my video pulled up here so we can, I can make sure everything's pulling up correctly. So I know that you're seeing everything. I think I just put that out of, out of where you could see it. All right, here we go. So this is the Jar of Love stamp set. This is a stamp set that is retiring. And so if you want to get it, you need to get it before the end of May. It's great. There are framelits that go with it. I think they're called Everyday Jars. I don't have the framelits, so you don't have to get them. But if you want to be able to cut out the floral images and the um, stalks and all that for the flowers, then you would need to get the framelits because they're a little difficult. The jars are easy to cut out. That's how I made this card today. Um, so if you're here, just say something so I know that you're here. We're going to use the foam mat today because this is a photopolymer stamp set. And let me give you a quick view of the card. Isn't that pretty? I used Whisper White for the background of the card. I've got some Melon Mambo. And this is Melon Mambo Designer Series paper. Now, the Designer Series paper that comes in... There are different packs of it, like there's a neutrals pack, a brights pack, subtles, regals, and then the in colors have packs. So this is from the brights pack. And what you get in those packs of paper are 48 sheets, because there's, I believe it's 48 sheets. Let me make sure, 40 sheets, sorry, 40, because there's 10 colors and you get four of each. So you get the stripe side, you get the polka dot side. We're using the polka dot side today. And then you'll get another stripe with white and then a different polka dot design. But that'll be with every color that is in the Brights Pack. So it's a multi-color, you get other, the other colors that are in the Brights Pack. So those are going to be retiring. And when I say these are gonna be retiring, I mean this pattern. We will still have these color packs that are six by six, but it won't be these patterns. So just so you know, it'll be a different pattern. So if you want these patterns, you have to order them by the end of May. Let me just flip my camera around here a little bit because none of my, there we go. Looks a little better that way for me. So anyway, this is the card we're gonna make. I'm gonna set it aside and we'll start by stamping our jar. Let me move some paper over here because I got a big old pile of stuff, so. So I just used that polka dotted side because I liked that polka dotted side. Hi Lois, how are you? Hi Fran, how are you? Thank you for watching. So I'm inked it up in Melon Mambo because I wanted to use the same color that the paper was. And this is the Melon Mambo paper. And then I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to cut this out. I'm just gonna cut out the square of it first and then I'll cut the rest of it out. So once you cut the square out, like cutting these jars really doesn't take a lot of time because it's a lot of just straight cutting. There's a little bit here. Now the flowers would take a little bit longer just because there's a little more. And always make sure you move your paper, not your scissors, when you're going around all those little curves because it's easier just to move the paper a little bit with your left or right hand, depending on if you're left or right-handed, and then just go around all those little curves. That's like the key to fussy cutting in my opinion is move the paper, not the scissors. Hi Angie, hi Kathy, how are you? Thank you for watching. So there's the jar, I mean, it's that simple. It took a few seconds to cut out. Like I said, there are the dies that you can buy to go with it and you can run it through your big shot or whatever you want. Um, but I didn't buy them, I just figured I would just cut the jars out myself. All right, so there's a little heart that comes in that. I inked that up with Melon Mambo and put that at the corner of the jar. Set that little piece aside and we're gonna get a piece of Wood Texture Designer Series paper. Now this comes in a pack. Now let me read the package. I've got a couple, got some thick, a thick package here. But this does have 48 sheets in it and they're all different wood patterns. But the beautiful thing about these is, is you can still stamp on them. Even though they've got that wood pattern, you can still stamp on them and make something really pretty. So I decided how pretty it would be to do some flowers on there. So 
these two flowers actually when you normally stamp them you stamp this big flower and then you stamp this little flower as an accent but instead today I use them as two separate flowers and I don't know why I closed up my melon mambo because I need that again hi Laura hi Sharon thank you for watching thank you for joining us so the first thing I did was actually not stamp the flowers I actually stamped the stems first come on Val get with it all right let me see I used old olive for the stems and I just used the plain long stem for these flowers. Yes, Sherrod, if you want this stamp set, it's one you're going to have to order because it is retiring. And it's such a great set. And like I was saying, there are dyes too. So I just kind of made my stems all a little bit different heights. Just because I've got the two smaller flowers and the two larger flowers. And once the jar goes over it, you're not going to see where your stems are anyway. So that's what I liked about using a piece of paper like this that you can't see through. You can use vellum, um, which is really pretty because then it does look like a vase, a glass vase. But I just didn't want to do that this time. I wanted it. I wanted to have a polka dot jar because I thought it was really cute. Okay, so once you get those stems, then you're going to go ahead and use your Melon Mambo. And I inked up the big ones first and I made those the taller flowers. I think I needed a little more ink on that one. This one should be darker. Yeah, see it should be a little bit darker. So that one's a little lighter. That's okay. And then I'm just use this smaller one to make a couple of smaller flowers. I had a little bit of extra ink there so I got a little dot there but we're just going to chalk that up to no mistakes, just always um, opportunities to make something new, right? So maybe that's just a little piece of fluff fly flying off my flower, right? Makes sense. Sure. Okay, so next I took the pear pizzazz. And I wanted to make just a little bit more greenery in here. So I took this stamp that has all these little tiny leaves, or you could call them tiny buds, whatever you want to call them and ink that up with the pear pizzazz. And I actually just went right over top of the flowers because when you see a vase full of flowers, there's always some kind of greenery or other flowers in there that kind of cover up the flowers a little bit. Some of it sticks a little taller than the flowers. So I thought, well, this is perfect for that because I could have it coming in and being taller than the flowers in some spots and shorter in others, right? Um, good evening to you, Kathy. I am in Northwest Florida, so it's always fun to have people on here that I haven't met yet. And Kathy, are you a friend of Fran's? I see she said hello to you, so I'm assuming you know Fran. Fran has watched my videos for a while and I enjoy having um, other people come on and watch too because I figure that way the creativity gets out there to everyone. So the next color I used was Mossy Meadow because I wanted these little stalks here just to be a little bit darker. And so I just inked up four times and just put four of them in there kind of by the other stems just to give it a little bit of contrasting color and then those original these extra leafy pieces that I put in there I wanted some color so I thought Bermuda Bay is from the same color family it's from the Bright's color family and there's this little tiny stamp in here I've got my camera moved all over here let me see if I can get it back in frame I don't know how I bumped it or what I did but there, sorry, hope you were seeing most of that that I was doing, I don't know how. I must have bumped it when I moved my other thing around. Hi, Rana, how are you? Um, so anyway, this has just four little, and I'll show you on this paper how cute, isn't that cute, those little, tiny little. So I thought I would take that and add that to the ends of some of these little leaves to give it some other little flowers on there because I thought it made it, just gave it a little bit of color, extra color, even though the Melon Mambo gives it great color, this gives it just a little bit of extra. 
and just randomly pick a few here and there and put it in there. You don't have to do a ton of them. And I actually think maybe I'll do one that's right here on the flower and maybe one over here on this flower just to kind of add that extra color in there. And once I got that done, next, basically all we're doing is layering. We have one sentiment to stamp and we have the lid to stamp. So we'll do those real quick. We'll stamp the lid and the little sentiment. Isn't this lid cute? I just think that jar lid is adorable. I don't, it's the little things that light in life that make me happy. Um, I know Sharon said this is one of the sets that she needs to order before the end of May, before it retires. Is anyone else already have this set or are they going to order this set? because I'm telling you, it is fantastic. You can do so many things with it. It makes really cute tags, especially if you're giving away like those little jar gifts at Christmas with cookie mixes and things in it, just to make a cute little tag and punch a hole in it and hang it on an actual jar, right? Okay, so I just did the For You sentiment on the front because I thought this could be a birthday card, this could be a Mother's Day card, this could be a get well card. You could use it for anything. Oh, I did forget one little thing on our picture. I'm gonna have to put the bug on there in just a minute, but let's get this lid stamped first. And again, I just cut the lid out using my scissors, but the for you, I use the one inch circle punch. And I don't know if any of you know this, but some of our circle punches are retiring. So, if you need a one and three quarters, one and one quarter, or three quarter inch circle punch, get them now because they are going to be retiring. Now we don't have any of these type of punches in the catalog anymore. I think the one that we do have is a little bit smaller. It's a one eighth or one sixteenth. I don't know what size this is. I know, Fran, we can't have the flowers without the bugs, that's for sure. But, I'm sorry. Anyway, so I just cut that out and then punch that little hole in there so you can do it. Then take some of the linen thread and wrap it around. And of course, mine's, I always have one longer piece, one shorter piece. And then I just kind of hold on to it, lay it down like this, and then I'm going to add some of my snail adhesive. I get the top off on this. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm gonna make sure I get some at the top and right near the bottom of that thread because I want that thread to be held down. Now, it's not actually over top of the thread or underneath the thread, but it's just above and below it. And then I'm gonna stick this jar down before I tie because that tying, that way your thread stays in place. We're gonna lace the little for you through where we cut that hole and we're just gonna tie a knot and I wanna tie the knot over to the left side. So I'm just gonna tie it over here and then once we get that tied, now you can leave your pieces longer if you want. I mean, obviously you want them close to the same length. You don't wanna leave it like this, like I have it right now with one super long and one super short. But I just cut them short because I wanted to be able to move this tag over and I don't plan on sticking this tag down, but I kind of like the way that looks with that knot kind of sitting inside the hole of the tag, right? Doesn't that look cute? I think so. All right, so since I forgot to do it, we will go ahead and stamp the little bug. I don't know if it's a bee or a fly. It kind of looks like it's probably some sort of fly, but I just stamped it on the right-hand side but because I wanted him to have some color and to kind of look like a bee, I used my Stampin' Blends and I used Mango Melody because even though it's a little bit of an orangey yellow, on top of this wood texture DSP, it just looks like a dark yellow. So I think it looks really cute like that. And then I used the, which one is this? Smoky Slate. Smoky Slate for the wings because it colored nice over top of this as well. You don't want to use too light of colors when you're doing over the wood because it won't come in. The color won't show up as much as what I'm trying to say. Um, but these colors look great. 
Oh, it, you're right, Fran. It could be a lightning bug. So there we go. I made its butt yellow. So perfect. <laughs> perfect. Hi, Lisa Marie. How are you? So I stamped the lid earlier, but I cut one out already. Ta-da! So you don't have to watch me cut the lid out. You did have to watch me cut the jar out. But I've already cut the lid out. And I kind of wanted to make it look like it was laying on the table, kind of leaning up against the jar a little bit. So I put it on just a slight angle. And of course, I probably should have attached it to my other paper before I put it on there. But that's not how I operate today, apparently. Yes, we used to catch lightning bugs and put them in the jar too, Fran. I have a friend, and we always joke about this today because we didn't meet each other until... We were freshmen in high school, but she is my very best friend. And if she's watching this, she's going to know exactly what story I'm about to tell. Because we were catching lightning bugs and putting them in a jar one night. You know, teenagers. We were doing it as teenagers. We were still kids. Um, and we were laughing the whole time we were doing it. And just out of the blue, she was like, Do you remember catching lightning bugs when you were a kid? And squishing their butts and sticking them on your noses so your nose would light up and oh my god I couldn't stop laughing because I had never done that but the and no one I had ever known had ever done that until I met her so we still laugh about that today about her as a child sticking lightning bug butts on her nose to make her nose light up I'm like who does that I don't know has anyone else ever done that except my very best friend in the whole world, who's, I'm not gonna say her name out loud. She knows who she is. She knows she's the lightning bug killer. And I literally just, we still laugh about that today every time we see lightning bugs. And I'll even say, do you remember when you were a kid? And she just starts cracking up laughing. We can't even stop. It's, I know it's probably funnier if you were there, but it's still funny to me and I like to tell the story. So, this is today's One Card Wonder Wednesday. Isn't that adorable? I thought about putting it on a darker paper, and I laid it out earlier, and I asked Lisa Marie, I'm like, the lighter paper or the darker paper? And we thought the white paper just kind of makes it stand out. Now, on the inside, since we don't have anything stamped yet, I think I'm just going to put a little heart in there because... Oh, see, okay, Lois is a lightning bug killer, too. She used to make rings. All right, I'm going to have to tell my other friend so she knows she's not the only one who would torture lightning bugs when she was a child. <laughs> That's going to make her much happier. Oh, and Kathy put them on her ears for earrings. Okay, apparently I was the only not normal child. I just put them in jars. I didn't, like, take them apart. <laughs> It's too funny. All right, well, since he's a lightning bug, let's make him sparkle a little bit since that's what we've decided he is. And hopefully I just didn't stick my chest in the... But we'll add some Wink Stella to him so he's sparkly. Yep, see, Lisa Marie just did jars too. <laughs> there, so now the little lightning bug is sparkly. There we go. So anyway, this is a gorgeous set. You can do so many different things with it. Like I said, if you stamp the larger flower in a lighter color and this one in the darker color, it makes a cute multi-dimensional flower, which is great, but I wanted to use them today as separate flowers. And I'm gonna show you the stamp set one more time. Um, it's got lots of fun things and it's got this little burlap piece that I think is adorable that you put on the front of a jar after you um, put it out. It's got lots of little sayings in it, like, you light up my life. So, it is a lightning bug. Oh my gosh, you guys are great. Because it says, you light up my life, and then you got that little bug. So, then you can put them in the jars. It's a lightning bug. Seriously, Val? Come on. Yeah, you're right. I need gold wink of Stella, Fran, but I don't have one of those right now. So, I just use the regular one, but gold would be really pretty on there. I love the little goldfish to put inside one of these and then make this really light for the water. So anyway, it's a fun set. It's retiring at the end of the month. I hope you all want it and order it. Um, I think it's great. Now, one thing, I didn't put up my new host code, but I will put it on my Facebook page. So my month of May host code will be on there. 
but I wanted to quickly show you this that just came out today. This is the Everything is Rosie medley. This is an $80 medley of products, so it's not a kit. Like, it doesn't give you directions on how to make the cards, um, but it does come with a ton of supplies. It comes with the photopolymer stamp set, the dies, 48 sheets of the 6x6 designer series paper, and some of those have the rose gold foil in there and rose gold accents on the paper, which is really pretty. I saw it at on stage. You get the printed die cuts that have the rose gold on these. Um, okay, so two printed, these are two sheets of these regular die cuts with the flowers and four of the rose gold die cuts. You get the rose gold adhesive back mirrored elements like these are super shiny they actually have like a, a small little piece of plastic over the top of them so once you put them on then you take that little piece off and you have that mirror look on that element it's like I saw it I'm telling you I can't say how pretty it is enough I can show you the pictures all day long you're not going to know how gorgeous it is until you actually see it you get 10 yards of Melon Mambo Ruched Ribbon. You get 10 yards of Knight of Navy with rose gold edging on it. And you get a container of rose gold shimmer paint. So this is just an incredible value. And if you order from me and you use this host code during this month, um, hopefully they don't run out too fast on these products because I want lots of people to be able to order these. I am going to have, you're going to be invited to an online Facebook class and it'll be an exclusive event only for those who have ordered this from me and I will teach you how to make some cards with your product. So hopefully you can do that and join me in making some product with the Everything is Rosie medley. That's available only through the end of the month and always, like they say, as, as supplies last. So... Anyway, here is today's One Card Wonder Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a good time. I appreciate you all watching. I will go ahead and post pictures of these and I will make sure I put my new host code for the month. The Everything is Rosie Medley is a separate host code so I know who's going to be able to be in the class. So I apologize for not having my new host code up. But thank you for watching. Have a great evening and I will see you next video. Bye.